We have a big problem. Well, two actually. The first one is that after I spent 40 hours building this planet in the last episode, a bunch of you guys said that I couldn't respawn the Ender Dragon again since it might destroy the planet, which um, wouldn't be very good. And the second problem is that the planet looks really great, but uh, yeah, the rest of the end looks pretty bad. So we're going to have to transform the end. And to do that, we're going to have to spawn the Ender Dragon again and risk destroying the planet. Yeah. I know a little bit about the dragon AI. Like, I know if there's a block above the portal, then the dragon will try to get higher than that block to perch. So I think if I just remove the few blocks that are directly above the portal, the dragon shouldn't destroy it. Okay, let's see if this works. So it's respawning. Okay. So it hasn't broken the planet yet, but it might break it when it perches. Oh. Um... Um, so the dragon didn't break the planet. The planet broke the dragon. I'm sorry, dude. This is, uh, this is a little unfair, but... There we go. Cool. Well, we know we can still spawn the Ender Dragon, so problem one is solved. And now we can start actually transforming the end to try to make it not look so bad. The first thing I'll do is try to get rid of all the bedrock around the portal. Uh, I promise at the end of the video, this will make more sense. But for now, you just kind of have to trust me. Did I get it? Nice. nice. I want to remove this entire area here. So... No, I'm just kidding. We're going to blow it up. Now, that would require thousands of TNT. I've done something like that before, but I don't really want to do it again. But there is a way to blow up massive areas without using a bunch of TNT. I just need to get a bunch of slime balls to do it, but I don't have nearly enough. Now, I know this house I built is actually in a slime chunk, so if I mine out this area around it, I should be able to make a scuffed slime farm. Try this. And I could just fly all the way up here to try to get the slimes to spawn. And if we come down here... No slimes have spawned. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, here we go. Here's a slime. Aww. So we'll just keep doing this until we have enough slime to blow up the area in the end. Okay, so we have 51 slime blocks now. That should be enough. Now we got all the materials, so let's start building this. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay, I picked up the shulker box. Uh, it's working. So this thing will just continue to drop TNT here, going back and forth until this area is completely mined all the way through. So while this mines out this area here, I'll start working on building the next one. Oh, I didn't, oh, oh, that's just going. So this is what it looks like right now. I have a really cool idea for what I want this place to look like. I basically want to use the obsidian pillars here to separate different biomes that I make in the walls and on the floor. So by the end of it, it'll sort of look like a biome pie, huh? like a big, a big pie, the end, end pie. That's yeah. So we first need to get a ton of obsidian. So I'll make a beacon here and hollow out one of the obsidian pillars. Hello. What are you looking at? That's right. Base 2 does make getting obsidian a little bit quicker, but it's still very slow. So I'll probably be spending like another hour just doing this. Wish me luck, I guess. Okay, there we go. So we'll block that back up and pretend like it's completely filled in. And we can use this obsidian to start building the floor. Okay. I need to be careful. So I need to make an obsidian path from here to the center. And to follow this pillar design, I'll do this. So the three here are one block above this. 
Okay, there we go. So that's this pathway finished. Now we need to do this for all the other nine pillars. Oh. Again, this is going to take a long time. This is what it looked like at the beginning of the episode. And this is what it looks like now. Yeah, just like the planet, this thing is going to be massive. So now that we have these slices of pie, we can start filling them in with different types of biomes. So we'll start with the simple biomes and gradually work our way towards the more complex biomes. So we can start off with the classic plains biome. Uh, what are you doing here, man? Oh god, I I didn't know that would kill him. So I guess I'll build the plains biome in this pie wedge, and I'll try to keep it on the same level as this bottom row of obsidian. Now you may be thinking this is pretty much the same thing as what I did with the planet with the different biomes, but this is actually a lot different because now we have almost a flat area to build the entire biome on, meaning we can build massive trees and massive structures in each wedge. For this cliff part here, I wanna to try to make it somewhat circular. I also want the wall to gradually lean outwards, meaning I will need to manually remove some more end stone. Now, there's not much to it. Like, it's pretty much only dirt. So I'll try adding in some stone to the lower parts. Yeah, that's already looking better just by adding a little bit of stone. Okay, now that I'm at the top here, I want it to sort of curve outward even more. I'll also make it sort of blend into the biome like this. Okay, yeah, that looks surprisingly natural. So now I can start decorating this bottom area. First of all, we can just spam a bunch of bone meal here. Oh, uh, I guess flowers don't grow in the end. I'll also just build a mini house in here. And I'll put a little pile of hay here why not so there's the plains biome complete now the next biome i want to make is actually the end biome now i already have a bunch of end stone from clearing out the wall but i will need a bunch of the end berries i don't um chorus fruit okay we have 20 that should be plenty and we can start building the next wedge I'm sort of doing this the opposite of the way I did this one. So I'm kind of working from the top down because it is easier to carve out the shape that I want. Okay, I was wrong. It's harder to carve out. Oh, an Enderman stole a piece of dirt. Huh? This guy, can I have that back? Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. We can finish off this biome by adding the chorus flower. Now, I've never used chorus flower before, but from my very limited research online, this should just grow. Hey, look at that. It's growing. Cool. Now we'll start getting into the biomes that are a little bit more difficult to make. I don't want to repeat too many of the biomes I've already made on the planet. So the next biome, I'll actually make it a biome that a lot of you said I forgot to build on the planet. And that is a jungle slash bamboo biome. So I'll yoink a bunch of this dirt and bamboo. And I'll also grab a bunch of leaves. Oh, it's a parrot. I'll also grab a bunch of jungle wood. And we can start placing this in. If I place dirt by podzil, will it grow into podzil? Okay, I guess not. I'll start by clearing out this end stone here. Okay, there we go. That should be most of the clearing out that I'll need to do. For the wall here, I'll use jungle wood and try to make it look like there are different trees. And we can spawn a big tree as well. Um, okay, that's not working. So regular trees it is. The only problem is I need to clear out some area before the trees can grow. There we go. And then I'll fill in the spaces with more wood. There we go. Now I want to add a bunch of trees on the grass here. Big tree here. That looks pretty crazy. And to finish off the biome, I'll put a bunch of bamboo here. Yeah, that should work. And that'll all just grow in as I work on the next biome. So that's perfect. So this biome is going to be pretty tricky because for this one, I'm going to be building some caves inside of the wall. So I'll first build this base. And there we go. Perfect. Now the part that makes this biome difficult is what I want to do in the wall and the ground. So I want to build a mini cave going down and also in the wall. So it should extend downwards like this and it'll extend this way and then go up. 
Okay, now that there's this pathway here, I can start building upwards. And there we go, I hit, I hit the wall up at the top. And then we can break through this wall here, and I'm out of stone. All right, cool. So now the two holes are connected. So now it's like a real cave biome. So that's cool. Now, normally underground, there are also some patches of granite, diorite, and andesite. And the final touch will be just sprinkling around some ore. Here's iron ore, coal ore, coal. What you're going to get for Christmas if you don't like and subscribe right now. And inside of the cave is where it's deeper. So I'll put some redstone ore and gold ore. So this is the cave biome finished. It looks pretty cool. And there's an actual cave. Now the next biome is interesting because it can connect to this end spawn room. So if I dig all the way through here, um, it goes right into the pillar. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, What's up, man? So for this one, I want it to not just be nether themed, but actually nether fortress themed. So I'll first build this base of netherrack. So I guess now I'll go to a fortress and try to mine a bunch of those blocks. Uh, where's the fortress? I don't even remember. Whoops. Um, easy, easy clap. Okay, here we go. Okay, this part seems safe, so I guess I'll just mine a giant chunk of this. I want to have one pillar here. And there'll also be another pillar right here. This is the level that you spawn on when you enter the end, so this should be the top of the fortress. There's the first pillar done. And of course, I am out of nether brick, so I need to go back. I literally do this every single time. Okay, and we're back at it. For this part here, it should gradually be destroyed, like, because it's the end of the fortress. I guess that works. Okay, and then I'll add another broken end here. I'll replace this spawn area with a bunch of nether rack. Since I always need to go through the nether to get to the end, it sort of makes sense having this be nether. I'll try my best to make it look like a natural nether cave. And there we go. So here's this pathway completely finished. I tried to make it somewhat natural, but it's kind of hard to do that. But what I can do is add a bit of nether quartz ore and also some gold ore. There we go. That's looking better already. There's water in the nether. Wow. How does he do it? So now I get to actually build this wall, which is definitely the worst part of building these biomes by far, easily. So, boom, and there's the wall done, finally. And this is what is almost the completed biome. I am missing one more block that I want to put in the walls, and you could probably guess that it's ancient debris. I've gotten so many comments of people wondering why I use ancient debris in my builds, but I don't have netherite armor, and it's because the diamond armor matches my skin. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Just to remind you where we're at, this is what it looked like at the beginning of the episode, and this is what it looks like now. It actually looks insane. It's gonna look really cool when it's completely filled in, so let's just keep going. I want the next chunk to be snow related, so I need to go over to this pumpkin dude that I made in the last episode. So I'll just sit here for a while. Now before I start placing the snow in, I want to try something here. Mining out this small area here takes like 20 to 30 minutes. I've done that for all the other biomes, and that's by far the worst part of building this. But I found out about a pretty simple TNT duper that hopefully will make this a lot easier for me. Okay, and if I just flick this lever, so I can just spam this and sweet. Yeah, and it blows up a big area. Now, I'm a little bit worried it'll fly over to the other biome and destroy that, but it's looking pretty good. Oh, yeah, one one did get launched. Um, oh, no. Uh. So I'll start with just a base layer of snow. And yes, I'm putting the snow biome right next to the nether biome because on the planet, I put the snow biome right next to the desert biome. So, you know, there's some consistency to it now. And there we go. The ground here, I want to have a bunch of different igloos. Okay, that works. I definitely didn't just copy the way they naturally spawn in villages. Yeah, leave me alone. I'll just make little chunks of packed ice on the floor. I'll make some little light posts just like that. Also put a lantern inside of the house because why not? And I also want to add some villagers to it. And by villagers, I mean 
snowmen yeah and i guess i'll name them jerry so that there's jerry one jerry two and jerry three perfect okay that should do it for this biome and now we can start working on the next one ow so first things first i need to actually blow up the wall to make it easier on myself Oh, I guess some of the TNT blew over here. Luckily, Jerry 1's still trapped in here. All right, wait, is that Jerry 2? Or 3? Uh, I don't know. This biome is actually going to be pretty interesting to make because I don't really know how I'm going to build it yet, but I know it'll look cool. So basically what I want to do in that biome is try to make a cool looking mineshaft. And I know I've seen a mineshaft around here somewhere. Oh. Okay, I swear I get blown up by a creeper in every episode. I'll grab a bunch of cobwebs. Um, every time. So I want to have part of the mineshaft coming out here. And every once in a while, there'll be some fences with oak planks on top like that. So the floor should be all stone. Same with the walls. And that should be good. I can also add a minecart with chests. I guess I'll put it right here. And I'll fill it up with the stuff that I got in the real one. We have a mending book. It's decoration now. So that's cool. Now, it would be pretty lazy to only have this biome be this single mineshaft. So I want to build some more mineshafts in the middle of the wall. And I want this part to extend a little bit over the cliff. Am I seriously out of stone? Now I can add some of the smaller details in, like some patches of different ore, especially gold. There's a lot of gold in mine shafts and a bit of diamond because why not? And finally, I'll add a few cobwebs in here and that's the completed biome. Now I'll be honest, the next biome is sort of a filler biome. Everyone seemed to really love the geode biome in the planet. You know, might as well bring it back. I already have a bunch of amethyst and calcite, but I'm still going to need to grab a ton of smooth basalt. disappeared and now i'll blow up all three of the walls so for the rest of the video we can just focus on building and boom there we go and the last section is blown up a lot more because i actually have something pretty cool planned for this final biome but to get to that point we need to first do this one this will be the bottom of it i'll try to make it somewhat circular and then around it i'll do some calcite and then the rest of the floor will just be regular smooth basalt. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay, now these two biomes are the ones that will be super cool. So for this one, I want to build a part of an ocean monument. So here's the ocean monument I destroyed in a previous episode. I guess I'll just cover this pillar in netherrack. And then I could just get rid of the entire pillar without dealing with any of the water. So that's cool. I want to have a base layer of gravel, so I need to add some blocks underneath where the gravel will go, because... Yeah. You know, it's a lot more comforting building this, knowing that, you know, I can break this and I'm not gonna die. I can't really say the same about other biomes. An ocean monument has a bunch of pillars, which are 4x4. Four four. They go up 7 blocks. And they're connected with a layer of prismarine. Why does this look green? Isn't it supposed to be like blue? Cool, so the bottom part's done. Now I need to do the top part. Okay, this is actually gonna be pretty tough. I didn't blow up enough of the walls, so I kind of just need to mine this out manually. Yikes. Um. Oh, I have an idea. So what I could do is actually give it a roof to put the gravel on. That'll let me make the ocean monument go into the wall further without me needing to mine three hours worth of endstone. So... Actually, instead of using stone, it probably makes more sense to use prismarine. Okay. 
Okay, there's the top roof in. Um, these Endermen are starting to steal my gravel. So there's the top part added, so then I can add some more gravel on top of that. It's looking pretty cool now, but there's one final touch we can add. Ever since Wadzi cleared out his ocean monument, everybody has been clearing out theirs. So I feel like it's only fitting to add some wet sponges everywhere. Cool, that, that, that biome is finally finished, so... Oh wait, no, it's not finished. Now it's finished. Finally, for the last biome, I want it to be like the new 1.18 deep slate caves, which is why it's so big. So we need to get a bunch of deep slate. Oh wait, I forgot the beacon in the end. So the thing that's going to make this biome extra hard to make is the fact that when I place deep slate the normal way, it places it like this, it places it sideways. But in a normal cave, it spawns like this facing up, which means I can't just build a base layer like I normally do. I have to actually build a bottom. So I'll do something similar to what I did here, and that is add a little roof. I'll need to remove all of this later. Whoa. Huh? Wait, he was just chilling in the water for a second. That's illegal. All right. Hmm what he gets for breaking the minecraft law so now i'll make sure i'm facing down and place a layer of deep slate on this end stone so if you haven't already uh make sure to like the video you know i i, I think this is worth it this is a it's a big project only if you like it though if you didn't like it then dislike it okay i i think i've said enough i'll just uh Go back to building, I guess. Okay, and here's the base for the biome finished. I wanna add a mini cave. It won't really lead anywhere, but it'll make it look a little bit more interesting. I also wanna add some lava and water. So I'll grab some lava, yoink. And I can put some lava right there. I'll also add some water uh, right here. And I'll just let that flow down. And now this actually looks like the new 1.18 deep slate biome. So that is perfect. We just need to add some final touches. Nice. And the beacon goes right here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, that is looking super cool. Yeah, that looks crazy. I don't know how I'm going to be able to top this for the next episode. Yeah, I'm just glad I'm finished. All right, well, um, I, th I think the video is over now. So, yeah, see you in the next one, I guess.